How do I upgrade the Python installation in Windows 10? I have a Python February 7, 2011 installed on one of my lab stations. I would like to upgrade Python to at least 3.5. How should I do that? Should I prefer to completely uninstall February 7, 2011 and then install the new one? Is there a way to update it? Is an update a good idea? Every minor version of Python, that is any 3.x and 2.x version, will install side by side with other versions on your computer. Only patch versions will upgrade existing installations. So if you want to keep your installed Python 2.7 around, then just let it install a new version using the installer. If you want to get rid of Python 2.7, you can uninstall it before or after installing a newer version, there is no difference to this. Current Python 3 installations come with the py.exe launcher, which by default is installed into the system directory. This makes it available from the path, so you can automatically run it from any shell just by using py instead of python as the command. This avoids you having to put the current python installation into path yourself. That way, you can easily have multiple python installations side by side without them interfering with each other. When running, just use pyscript.py instead of pythonscript.py to use the launcher. You can also specify a version using for example py-3 or py-3.6 to launch a specific version, otherwise the launcher will use the current default, which will usually be the latest 3.x. Using the launcher, you can also run Python 2 scripts, which are often syntax incompatible to Python 3, if you decide to keep your Python 2.7 installation. Just use py-2script.py to launch a script. As for Pippi packages, every Python installation comes with its own folder where modules are installed into. So if you install a new version and you want to use modules you installed for a previous version, you will have to install them first for the new version. Current versions of the installer also offer you to install pip, it's enabled by default, so you already have pip for every installation. Unless you explicitly add a Python installation to the path, you cannot just use pip though. Luckily, you can also simply use the py.exe launcher for this, pympip runs pip. So for example to install beautiful soup for Python 3.6, you could run py-3.6mpip install beautiful soup for If you are upgrading any 3x.y to 3x.z patch python version, just go to python downloads page get the latest version and start the installation. Since you already have python installed on your machine installer will prompt you for upgrade now. Click on that button and it will replace the existing version with a new one. You also will have to restart a computer after installation. If you are upgrading from 3.x to 3.y, minor, then you will be prompted with install now. In this case, you are not upgrading, but you are installing a new version of Python. You can have more than one version installed on your machine. They will be located in different directories. When you have more than one Python version on your machine you will need to use PyLanica to launch a specific version of Python. For instance, Pi minus 3.7 or Pi minus 3.8 Make sure you have Pi Launcher installed on your machine. It will be installed automatically if you are using default settings of Windows installer. You can always check it if you click on Customize Installation link on the installation window. 
If you have several Python versions installed on your machine and you have a project that is using the previous version of Python, using virtual environment for example, then you can upgrade Python just in that then using. Python and then upgrade your virtual environment path. For instance, I have Python 3.7 in my slash venv virtual environment and I would like upgrade venv to Python 3.8, I would do following. Python and venv upgrade slash venv Installing slash upgrading Python using the Chocolatey Windows Package Manager. Let's say you have Python February 7, 2016. And you want to upgrade to the, now current, 3.x.y version. There is a simple way to install a parallel installation of Python 3.x.y using a Windows Package Management tool. Now that modern Windows has package management, just like Debian Linux distributions have apt-get, and Red Hat has DNF, we can put it to work for us. It's called Chocolatey. What's Chocolatey? Chocolatey is a scriptable, command line tool that is based on Net 4.0 and the Nuget package manager baked into Visual Studio. If you want to learn about Chocolatey and why to use it, which some here reading this might find particularly useful, go to this URL. Installing Chocolatey. To get the Chocolatey package manager, you follow a process that is described at this URL. I'll summarize it for you here. There are basically two options, using the CMD prompt, or using the PowerShell prompt. CMD prompt chocolatey installation. Launch an administrative command prompt. On Windows 10, to do this. Windows plus R, type CMD, press Ctrl plus Shift plus return. If you don't have administrator rights on the system, go to the chocolatey website. You may not be completely out of luck and can perform a limited local install, but I won't cover that here. Copy the string below into your command prompt and type enter. Chocolatey will be downloaded and installed for you as below. Either exit the CMD prompt or type the following command to reload the environment variables. PowerShell Chocolatey Installation If you prefer PowerShell to the CMD prompt, you can do this directly from there, however you will have to tell PowerShell to run with a proper script execution policy to get it to work. On Windows 10, the simplest way I have found to do this is to type the following into the Cortana search bar next to the Windows button. Next, right-click on the best match choice in the menu that pops up and select Run as Administrator. Now that you're in PowerShell, hopefully running with Administrator privileges, execute the following to install Chocolatey. PowerShell will download Chocolatey for you and launch the installation. It only takes a few moments. It looks exactly like the CMD installation save perhaps some fancy colored text.
Either exit PowerShell or type the following command to reload the environment variables. Upgrading Python The Chaco command is the same whether you use PowerShell or the CMD prompt. Launch your favorite using the instructions as above. I'll use the administrator CMD prompt. Essentially, Chocolatey will tell you hey, Python isn't installed since you're coming from 2.7.x and it treats the 2.7 version as completely separate. It is only going to give you the most current version, 3.x.y. As of this writing, 3.7.2, but that will change in a few months. Either exit out of the CMD slash PowerShell prompt and re-enter it, or use refresh and thin type Pi version. Note that the most recent Python install will now take over when you type Python at the command line. You can run either version by using the following commands. From here I suggest you use the Python pip utility to install whatever packages you need. For example, let's say you wanted to install Flask. The commands below first upgrade pip, then install Flask. Will do the trick. Happy Pythoning. A quick and painless way for me was to do the following. Do a pip freeze is greater than requirements.txt on my affected environments, or whatever method you want for backing up your requirements. Remove the old version of Python, in my case it was 3.8. Remove the associated environments. Install the new version, 3.9.5 in my case. Recreate my environments, Python mvenvenv, or however you wish. Reinstall my plugin slash apps, pip install or requirements.txt, or however you wish.